Motorcycle lane splitting is a common practice in many parts of the world, but it's actually illegal in the United States, except for California. Now, I wanted to see how well Autopilot would detect lane splitting motorcycles, so I recorded some videos, and I also recorded them in binaural audio. So if you use your headphones, uh, you can actually hear the vehicles coming from behind and going forward. It's quite neat. saw that one. I have to check the, uh, the film. So you can see that Autopilot uh, has a lot of variability in how it detects uh, the motorcycles. Uh, sometimes it seems to identify them as being merged with the car. Uh, other times it's detecting them as a car or in the right uh, side lane or Sometimes it does uh, accurately detect the motorcycle in between lanes. There's even times when autopilot doesn't seem to detect the motorcycle at all uh, with the cameras, though it does seem to do a pretty good job of detecting uh, the obstacle uh, with the ultrasonic sensors, so assumedly it wouldn't accidentally run into a motorcycle. As of now, autopilot does not actually detect and move over to make way for lane splitting motorcycles. I try to uh, do this by disengaging autopilot and moving over when it's a really tight squeeze. It's safe for both parties, safer for both parties. But sometimes the motorcycles come up from behind you really quickly, and uh, you, they're there before you even notice them. A lot of Tesla owners like to use the backup camera while they drive. While this gives you a really great view of everything uh, around you and a really nice wide field of view, that fisheye lens has a downside and that is it's not really good for uh, visualizing objects that are far away or that are coming up really quickly from behind you. So the standard um, uh, uh, rear view and uh, side view mirrors are still very important. Even if you're checking your mirrors regularly you can miss, uh, miss these motorcycles because they come up so quickly. Uh, but I like many drivers uh, actually use my ears to hear them coming. And to my knowledge, I don't think any self-driving uh, vehicle programs are really using audio uh, sensing in order to uh, help their vehicles sense their environment uh, better. But it's a very important uh, sensory input for detecting the sound of a motor coming up from behind or horns honking, etc. Fast-moving objects are visually sometimes very hard to detect even for human eyes. Elon, on a uh, recent quarterly earnings call for Tesla, said that the current hardware 2.0 and 2.5 can process about 200 frames per second. Now divided by the eight cameras, that's about 25 frames per second per camera. That may not be fast enough to detect really fast moving objects. However, the new hardware uh, GPU upgrade, which is supposed to be custom made by Tesla and released sometime in 2019, supposedly has 10 times more processing, pow processing power, so it could 
process up to 2,000 frames per second. Well, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you did, give it a like. If you want to know which videos are coming up next, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're researching to purchase a Tesla and you found this video helpful, click on the link and find out more about how you can use my referral code and get yourself uh, free supercharging. As always, I enjoyed having you along and see you next time. Thank you.